Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video, I want to walk you through designing your wireframe. Now that we have our wireframe assembled, we're going to begin designing our wireframe. And to get started, we're just going to tweak the sizes and layout of different elements. So I'll start with the navigation bar here. So I'm just going to make that a little bit uh, skinnier. And I will center these elements here. And I'll go ahead and just remove this border and give this a black fill. And now I've decided the image would probably be better if it were a square. So I'm just going to make sure that that's 15 pixels across. And if you hold down Option, you get this nice little uh, tool tip where it shows you the spacing between elements around this object. So I can see here that it's uh, 345 pixels wide, so I want this to also be 345 pixels tall. Now we'll go to the product title here, and I'll just give that a 10 pixel spacing right there, and just nudging that up. Now if you hold down Shift with the arrow keys, you can uh, nudge things 10 pixels, or if you don't hold down Shift and you use the arrow keys, you can just nudge things over one pixel. So now that we have that, I'm going to now get started with the description and reviews. Now here I'm just going to resize this text to 14 pixels and we'll go ahead and make that bold. There we go. And I want this to be black here. And now these little boxes, I'm going to shrink them down and I'll probably make them We'll go over here to the height and make them five pixels tall. We're gonna remove the border. Just give them a nice black fill right here. And I'll bring this down. So now I have the description and the reviews. And I'm just going to nudge this down three pixels. So there's 10 pixels between uh, the text and the bar. And then if you select each one of these, you can use these alignment buttons and click to center align each one. And lastly here, I'm going to give this a 30% transparency. And I'll go ahead and make this 30% here as well. So we have that, and I'm just going to make sure the spacing is good here. We'll give that 20 pixels right there. So this product description text, we're just going to resize this to 14 point here. And I'll go ahead and make that black as well. We'll just give that 10 pixels from the bottom of this border. And I'll resize the text area here. And now we have top rated products. Now one neat thing about object styles is instead of going in here and doing the same thing, changing the color to black and the font weight to bold, I can just simply click on this description text. I can right click and copy and any other text that I want to, I can right click and paste appearance or option command V and that will paste all the attributes from one object to another. So it saves me a little bit of time here. Now I'm just going to change this size to 12. I'll make this text black. And then the price here, I'm going to do 12 as well, but I'm going to make this weight bold. And we'll give this a blue fill. Now holding down option, I can see the padding here. It's 23 pixels, so I'm just gonna nudge it three and then hold down shift and nudge it once more, and now we have 10 pixels. Um, probably do four pixels between the title and the price. Okay, so we're making good progress here. I think the product title needs to be fairly large, so we're going to just make this bold. We'll leave it at 20 point here, and we're going to change the justification to center. Now if we just select one object and we use this center alignment tool, what that's going to do is center any object to the middle of the artboard, which makes it very handy sometimes. So I'll change this to black. So we're getting our layout in place and I'm just gonna hold down option and make sure that my padding is consistent. I have 10 pixels there, 10 pixels here, 
and between this I have 19 pixels so I'm just going to select all these and nudge it down with the arrow key and here because we don't know the size of the text yet it doesn't really matter but I have this at 15 pixels right now um, so we can move this up two pixels here and we're making good progress. Now with this add to cart button I want to have a 15 pixel padding around it so I'm just going to hold down shift and I'll nudge the arrow key up once and then I'll let go of shift and do one two three four five and we can see that there's 15 pixels there and then on the sides here we can just align this with the grid because we know that that's 15 pixels. So now we have our button and I notice that this is 39 pixels so I'm just going to change this to 40 pixels and then nudge this up once more. I'll select these two objects and make sure that they're center and middle aligned. And we have a nice layout now for the image, the text, and everything. We've got a pretty good start. 